Hi, this is Carlos Cousins, and the following literary narrative question um, is uh, a type of hide-and-seek here, but uh, this one should be very clear to you if you have read the passage as a whole here. Uh, we're asking, basically, what Gordon is as a time of the events in the story. So, basically, a characterization of Gordon, who is this guy uh, that comes over to see uh, Mr. Dean at the very beginning. I've included the beginning here of the passage, because that's when we first see Gordon, but uh, also this interaction he has with him at the beginning when uh, Dean is not very happy giving him the money. So let's go ahead and check out what's going on. Um, at the time of the events of the story, is Gordon extremely well-dressed? Well, when we talk about his clothing, um, it says here that the Inquirer was dressed in a well-cut but shabby suit. Shabby has a really negative connotation. It means that the, shoot, the suit that he's wearing um, isn't probably suited to him. You know, it's uh, um, maybe a little bit too big or something like that, a little bit of a cheaper suit. So he's not very well dressed. He's shabbily dressed. So we can get rid of that one right there. Um, recently out of a job. Um, well, yeah, the reason that he goes over there is because he needs some money and he doesn't have a job right now to be making the money. So uh, if you've read the passage, this should be clear to you that the reason that he went to see uh, Dean here was, yeah, they were friends in college. But he needs a favor from him. He needs to ask him for some money. So that's why this one's the best answer choice. Let's go ahead and consider the others, though. Um, able to live an expensive lifestyle. Well, no. He's asking for money. He lost his job. Um, he has a girlfriend right now who is also in need of money. So it doesn't seem like, um, like that's you know, the right answer here. Remember, Gordon is the one asking for money. Dean, Philip Dean here or Mr. Dean, as he calls him at the very beginning, was the firm from college who did a lot better. Uh, was he deeply admiring of Dean? Well, this you may have thought if you were looking at when he first addresses him. You know, he starts calling him Phil really quickly, but at the very beginning he says, Mr. Dean, very eagerly, it's Gordon, Phil. It's Gordon Starrett. I'm downstairs. Uh, so it looks like, look, he says Mr. Dean at first when he's on the phone, but he immediately switches back to Phil. There's something about saying Mr. Dean that doesn't fit. Maybe he was playing around a little bit. Maybe he was saying Mr. Dean in a sort of a mocking way. So the guy, because the guys didn't know who was going to be on the other end of the line. So maybe he said it with a funny voice or something like Mr. Dean. And then quickly just said, it's Gordon, Phil. You know, like uh, establishing the rapport here as equals once in, once in a while. It's not that he's very deeply admiring. And later on in the passage, when uh, his friend Phil doesn't want to give him money, he says, um, you know, he gets a little angry there. You suppose if I wasn't at the end of my rope, I'd come to you like this? Do you think I'm enjoying it? He broke off and bit his lip, feeling that he had better subdue the rising anger in his voice. He's really mad at his friend for not giving him the money. But he had to play a part. After all, he was the one asking. He was a suppliant. But he's not happy about the decision that his friend made here. He's not very admiring of Dean at the events of the, you know, while the events of the story are taking place. He's angry that Dean isn't more generous. So... Uh, we, for that reason, we can also cross out answer choice D here, and that makes B the best answer choice. I hope that helps with this problem, and happy prepping.